Before I even get this video started, you got the the original Adam that barely has any appearances, Al Pratt, Ray Palmer, Ryan, and then you got the Adam Smasher. Yeah, I know DC has too many Adam type characters. <laughs> I know his grandfather, Adam Smasher, he inherited his atomic physiology, and that's why he's the Adam Smasher, where he specializes in getting big rather than small. You see his old name, different outfit, same being. So I'm not really gonna go over this guy. He doesn't really hardly have no appearances. So yeah, Ryan, who's right here, Ray Palmer, and Adam Smasher are gonna be the focus of his video. There's a few different Adams I'm gonna go over, but did you know that one of the Adams known as Ryan, characters like Giganta, said, "You gonna kiss me today." and characters like Wonder Woman even find him attractive, right? <laughs> There's Adams out there that's not Ray Palmer, but called Ryan that can get denser and gain more durability with the density. Going as far as saying he can get denser than a freaking dwarf star, that would instantly make him like a more durable than planets. You know characters that can get real small and characters like the Adam Ray Palmer, for example. Usually folks that are like this are usually smart or know somebody that's smart. Ray Palmer, for example, is a genius a physicist who stumbled upon the remains of a dwarf star. Used fragments of the star to further his experience experiments in matter reduction his experiments fail time and time again because most geniuses fail before they can actually succeed of course he experimented upon himself until it became success graduated from college mary became the adam he's becoming so small he's even become subatomic level it's pretty self-explanatory imagine being this smart and stumbling across some cool material that's mad rare this is a gold mine for a scientific type being hey me personally i grew up with the movies like honey we shrunk the kids or honey we shrunk ourselves so powers like this is always cool to me wouldn't it be cool to be able to shrink down to the the ant size but you keep your human size strength you would be like a god so you wouldn't be as in danger and you get to explore like the insect realm and stuff i mean of course dc likes the red kind of, and of course their successors and stuff ray palmer's not the only being that gets abilities like this to be able to shrink in dc of course i mean when you look at panels like this you can look at his thought process on how he's able to improvise and do physics type of stuff to be able to even shrink in the first place using some lens to get even smaller and then stop shrinking when he needs to if he's a certain size that it's perfect for his situation he needs to be in he eventually fashioned a costume out of the white dwarf meteor made himself a miniature costume to where if he stretches big the costume becomes invisible and intangible but when he gets small it comes on him like almost instantly technically he has like a belt that's the main reason why he can even shrink to different sizes it's like he got superpowers from using resources and brains to be able to get really small to fight beings if he needs to so he started off with like this thing called the bio belt he eventually moved on from the belt and got some the atom gloves it has more accessibility and more convenient for him this way as years improved more convenient he makes his costumes and how he can transform at will now he has it to where it's not only in his belt or gloves anymore he can literally transform mentally based on how his current costume is in this particular occasion in his career how he just keeps improving because he can change due to his unique brainwave he can mentally make his costume appear or disappear by shifting most of its atom. He has a mental link with the white dwarf matter to which he has been regularly exposed. And all that good stuff, he's still an Olympic gymnast and excellent hand-to-hand -hand combatant. And you wouldn't expect it. The way they explain on how he can even do this is because he can transfer a part of his mass into another dimension. He can reclaim that mass from that dimension in order to increase his size and weight or both. And he can do it mentally. He can even do some Avengers Endgame type stuff like you saw in that movie to where he shrunk so small he can do like some busting reality type of stuff like disappearing into subatomic space. He can get so small he learned stuff that would fill him in with the true story of the multiverse. So then he learned how to go between worlds on a quantum level. So one can say he can kind of do some time traveling by slipping into another reality type of thing. Yeah, completely breaking physics. He met a younger version of himself that haven't become the Atom yet and will learn how to access the alternate realities and stuff. He he can also shrink and also bust physics in a way to where he can ride along the electrons in the telephone call to go to the other side of the telephone like literally traveling through the phone like bro what he's showing off the hurt beans even when he's small it shows that his strength is still crazy and evading bullets with his agility punching sleep for you can you imagine fighting somebody this small this quickly that has all the strength as your size but a lot smaller it's harder to hit you're legit like just a big old target for him and in this particular occasion it's implied they do know how to actually fight even without necessarily spamming superpowers i've been talking about ray palmer this whole time but at the same time other adams like ryan has fighting skill and agility too which i'm gonna talk about him more later on in the same vid he was taught gymnastics ever since he was two he has fighting skills because he just straight up messes up the cow boy because he's not just a scientific person like people thought he actually had martial arts lessons as a kid learn and reason to fight so yeah he can fight just like ray this is ray palmer right here of course stated in narration when you're a part of a, such an organization like the league for example they teach you how to fight 
it's unexpected for somebody that has superpowers like this to where you wouldn't necessarily need fighting skills, still have some decent fighting skills like even knowing techniques like judo, for example, and just straight up boxing up folks. There was this part in comments where Flash was getting his powers swapped and even Flash mentions how he's not as agile as the Adam or Ray Palmer. I mean, Adam is considered a warrior, Ray Palmer is. I know it's hard to picture the Adam using an actual blade. One can say he got a temporary weapon or melee weapon that he doesn't keep all the time. Or one could say just temporary power up in general and literally got welcomed to the Indigo tribe where he just literally became a powerhouse tier because lanterns are pretty much powerhouses by default. And he got a dope type of outfit like this indigo tribe this same tribe that he's powered up by is one of the beings helpful in destroying an entire planet if needed indigo tribe beings in this tribe can actually kill green lanterns or sinestro court members and even one shot black lantern fight off a squadron of lanterns or blast back multiple black lanterns at the same dang time and this is what adam is currently powered up with so yeah he's powerhouse level at least planet buster type character now you can see how even if he's small he can project energy blasts if needed get big or small on top of this ability you can see he still has melee proficiency no matter if he got powers or not even if he's got a lantern ability so he still gets stuff done but this was temporary though so no point in getting used to this too much right it's the same deal with ryan he's smart just like Ray Palmer, he has a 200 IQ, he can shrink or enlarge even without his belt. I mean, this guy got killed for Pete's sake, but thanks to Ray Palmer, the original Adam here, they say, you know how I was talking about how Ray Palmer shifts his body or mass to another dimension to get bigger because he's borrowing his own mass and stuff like that, physics breaking type of stuff? Well, that kind of helped him survive here when it comes to Ryan, made him connect to the other place. Thanks to him being kind of connected to Ray Palmer. It's the dimension our mass goes to when we shrink that kept him from dying. He willed some of his mass to the dimension and his life force followed so he kind of survived. It was unconscious, but it was a survival mechanism. Since these two are both shrinking type of characters, Ray Palmer was able to help him out because they kind of have a connection to this mass zone that binds them together. Lind Mass stated here to help him out. Pretty much regenerates his original body thanks to Ray Palmer severing his hand and using that mask to pretty much be back to life technically by using that mask. And here's the ins and outs of it when it comes to his belt to get small and stuff in with Ryan's lore. Singularity, generator field, and yada yada yada. The most gruesome thing you can do as a small type of character is go in somebody's body then expand while you're inside somebody's body to blow them up when somebody else is using your belt for lethal purposes. If you use the belt in a certain way to get small, he can tie it around a certain part of your hand to make your hand in by themselves get small as crap. Or just do cheat stuff and get real small and go in somebody's arm and mess up their shoulder or some crap can get so small to where you reach a place that has no sound no heat no color only that's pretty small or if somebody's bigger and stronger than you all he has to do is get real small go in your stomach and make you feel sick in your stomach to where even if a being stronger than him like giganto for example making her freaking barf or feel freaking sick his suit has the standard stuff like being able to emit light. I'm talking about a lot of light. He has a handy device that you might see him to help him propel or add to his attack power. Like this little thing he's sliding on here. This little barbell looking bullcrap. It's helpful when it comes to launching himself at stuff at crazy speed to add to his attacks. And it's stated to be the equivalent of four jumbo jet engines. It's strong enough to make armored soldiers sleepy, blast through doors, even works against super big kaiju. So he doesn't really need to get big because of the force equivalent to four jumbo jet engine slings him at stuff so hard to where it even knocks them over, even though they're massively way bigger than him. So he can attack with way more force than what he appears to be. If you blast electric stuff at him, it can absorb it. This bang stick. He can cause stuff, go nuclear by unstabilizing stuff. With this little bang stick device, he can redirect missiles, even apparently stagger Wonder Woman for two seconds and avoid her attack with this little thing he's sliding on, like his little ride. Even if you make stuff to apparently counter him, he can still rip through it regardless because you didn't quite expect he can do all of this. And it comes in handy when he has like a literal energy gun on top of it as well. And this is how they explain the scientificness of it. Seems to be another piece of gear that has some decent blast power to be able to blast holes through monsters' head, destroy the creature's whole head. He can physically rip off metal panels, shovel goes through your head, yikes. Punches super soldiers like Deathstroke to the ground. Punch you so hard your eye actually pop out. Even Bat family members like Jason Todd he punches. 
damaging police officer visors with his kicks even if he's smaller imagine being able to channel all your power or mass into a single point to where you ridiculously increase your raw strength or striking power by doing something like that or just give yourself the weight of 600 pounds so you can crush your beings because he has full control over his weight so he can do major damage it's evident in how he can topple over large robots and things or punch it through heads of certain things like a robot fly for example Super dense punch through a cyborg gorilla's arm, a mutated soldier bleed, goes through the head of a brainiac robot, steel door punching, kicks break through ice, resizing you to knock you down with a normal punch. Most DC characters with no powers have decent fighting speed, so it's no different from him being able to avoid lasers. He can shrink really fast and on the spot like shrinking faster than the bullet can get to him shrinks in a half a second or under half a second in newer comics aka rebirth stuff ryan can shrink his buddies too and even shrink his opponents which is not fair that should be considered cheating can shrink and go through a wall which is shrink in the middle of the fight get big to hit like you then get smaller again if you try to hit him or if there's a durable character nearby and there was a big explosion about to happen they can shrink him and his team to go inside lobo who's durable enough to withstand the explosion so they can survive the bullcrap because lobo's durable enough to survive an explosion they couldn't so they went inside of him for protection <laughs> don't pull up a gun on him because he's faster than you think disarms you that fast ryan says he can get as durable than dwarf star or get harder than dwarf star bombs have exploded around him and he wasn't gone from it before ryan can dodge crossbow guns and dodge them and get smaller as he's dodging stuff like that then you got the atom that likes to be big and you got the lore of him over there you can see for yourself doesn't have the most showing but he's still super strong i mean when you're this big you have to be strong by default right to be able to support your own weight. It's evident when you see him in battle feats, battling Grundy himself in older comics, alongside Black Adam beating up Apocalyptian stuff, stone constructs, holds up heavy magic statue, Thanagarian gets slung out of the air. One of his flashier battle feats would be the time he punched Black Adam this high in the sky, staggered the man Martian Manhunter himself, alongside other beings be fighting deities, even but stomps Power Girl this one time into the ground. He took in attacks from Geoforce, beings that can definitely destroy planets. He's bulletproof when he's huge, of course. Even takes a hit from the OG. Even takes a hit from Citizen Steel. He can grow ridiculously big. Hundreds of feet tall, if I might add. Y'all remember when he grew big enough to get bucked with the Spectre guys? Oh my goodness. Telling the Spectre to pick on someone your own size? I mean, when we're talking about size, this guy is the man for you. Beings this ginormous, he can match their size. Gets this big to stomp on Omac. You know, stuff to be fighting leaguers and stuff and giving them issues. You know, Omac's a strong one. Three of them can hold down one Woman for two seconds or five seconds or something. Or when some can knock out aquaman so him stopping on one isn't something to be brushed over oh yeah by the way look at him compared to the size of buildings and just like the other atoms in this video he can increase his density he can actually go through objects where one could say phase especially in older ish type stuff when he had a different outfit and stuff i mean bruh did phase through wonder woman but that's none of my business this outfit was dope i gotta admit though but with that all that being said Adams, any of the members can jump from Super Soldier tier and even jump past the Super Soldier tier to even where they can give beings that are way strong on them issues like Giganta, making her sick, making her throw up because going inside of her, messing up your stomach, make you feel yucky from the inside. It's like a form of ignoring durability. His strength kind of didn't matter in that sense. You got some versions of him that can get as durable as a dwarf star. So yeah, it just really depends on how you look at it. Regardless of how you look at it, he's one of those characters that's really annoying to fight, especially the Ryan version, I would say, since he's like kind of the main one currently. Getting small in the middle of a combo kind of one could say vanish because you get so small smaller than your eyesight to where you don't even know what's going on shrinking his teammates shrinking you it's just very cheat cody type of stuff but i'm going to hear you guys start what to y'all think he is do you think he's like a medium powerhouse like up there with starfire or something or do you think he should stay in the super soldier ranges or do you think his versatility and such makes him a heavyweight just by default that's what i kind of think because he's kind of hexy you know what i mean but that's up for interpretation what do you guys think I know I went over a lot of different atoms in this video, but I hope it wasn't too much for you. And there's even more, but you know how DC has multiple universes and stuff. But before I get going, thanks for the donations, everybody. It helps out a lot. Respect the Adam, Ryan, Ray Palmer, and the Adam Smasher. All these different characters in one vid. Let's get it. Now, bye-bye. I'm glad you are enjoying your time on the channel. Make sure you check out the playlist on the channel to see other How Strong videos. If you like what this channel is offering, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys later.